Continuing coverage tonight on a ballot problem for voters in East Oahu. Last night, we told you that dozens of voters in District 25 received incomplete ballots. Well, today, the Office of Elections says it's sending out replacement ballots to correct the printing problem. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us now with the latest. Jody, how did this happen? Well, Paula, elections officials say the mainland printing company simply printed the wrong file to exclude the Senate race to replace Republican Fred Hemings. Five candidates from two parties are seeking the District 25 seat, which covers Kailua, Waimanalo, and a portion of Hawaii Kai. Some candidates say they're concerned the mistake could cost them in a closely contested race. State Senate candidate and longtime Waimanalo neighborhood board member Andrew Jamila is among three Democrats running for the District 25 seat. For a first time candidate such as myself, and to put your belief that, you know, the system will work for you when your time comes, it's kind of um, not too reassuring, yeah. Kailua neighborhood board member Chuck Prentice is also running as a Democrat. If this can, uh, in any way changes the, the results, that would be a really, really terrible thing. We don't think it will because it's such a small 1,600 voters. Elections Chief Scott Nago reassures candidates the correct ballots are being mailed out and elections officials will be contacting affected voters to be sure they vote on and return the correct ballots. Some of the candidates aren't so sure about that. If the race is close, and I predict it will be, every vote's going to count. It's a really big mistake, and it's, it really affects me because this is my voting base. Republican candidate for Senate and small business owner Joe the Builder Pandolf is concerned because he believes his strength is in Hawaii Kai, which is partially affected by the misprinted ballots. It's huge. It really is huge. It could make or break me in the primary. Republican candidate and Kailua neighborhood board member Virginia Eno says she's also concerned about the mistake but wants to move on. I just hope that this um, highlights the situation for all the voters and uh, through that highlight we'll get more people to turn out for the vote and have a fair process. As a small business owner, if I, do, if I make a mistake like this, I won't be in business very long. Now, the fifth candidate, Democrat Pohai Ryan, did not return our phone calls today. Elections officials say the mainland printing company Hart InterCivic is absorbing the cost of printing and mailing out the second and correct batch of ballots. And Paula, the ballots are scheduled to be mailed out tomorrow.